Larry, I know we're into the fall weather here, but Florida's warm and it still hasn't, and I've been trying to get a little healthier and I've been going less meat based and more fish and vegetables and, and, and that, but I like my red wine and you can't have red wine. I don't really want to drink white wine. I like red wine. So are there any red wines that I could have not just by themselves? Uh, I'm not a steak eater. Of course there are. Of course, in fact, sometimes it's even better to drink red wine with fish and vegetables than it is white wine. Hi, I'm Larry Baker. I am a certified level two sommelier and a senior wine and spirit specialist here at ABC Fine Wine and Spirit in beautiful my hometown, Sunrise, Florida, where luckily we escaped uh, any form of even rain, uh, basically, or a hurricane. And I hopefully, if you're in Florida uh, or the Carolinas, you uh, watching this along the East Coast uh, also did as well as we did here in Broward County with, uh, it was actually a beautiful sunny day uh, the last couple of days, working on my no tan. Uh, anyway, I got a lot of customers that do that. Again, I had a couple of guests today, as a matter of fact, as I'm uh, 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 videoing this vlog entry who said, I just want something I can drink by itself. I want. I don't eat a lot of red meat. I eat fish. I like vegetables. Uh, what vegetables? I, and, but I also like red wine. I want the health benefit, the resveratrol, the antioxidants that come from the tannins in the red wine that you don't get in white wine. You know, how could I do that? And it's easily. You know, I, first of all, I think you want a fruit-forward wine with good acidity, and I think you want to try to avoid oak as much as you can, or at least have a fruit forward style of wine. I wouldn't recommend a nice earthy Bordeaux, not because you couldn't have it with fish or vegetable, is because um, the, the, the tannins will interfere and give a, a metallic taste, especially a metallic taste to white flaky fish. But other than that, we, we, there are certain parts of the country that actually are famous for their fish, especially in Mediterranean areas or down in the south of Italy, and they drink a lot of red wine with that, and it works. And, uh, and I'll show you what, give you some examples of that in case you are a more of a fish or a vegetable, uh, vegetable eater and you want to try to cut down on the red meat. I do uh, too a lot. I, I don't eat a lot of red meat often, but I do like my red meat. Don't get me where I'm not going to eat red meat. So, number one. This is uh, from Piemonte, where you would think about uh, big wines like, uh, uh, you know, Nebbiolo and Barolo wines. This is uh, uh, Agostino Pavia and Sons and, uh, and their family, uh, and they do a state bottled Barbera di Aste. This is the Bellina. The Bellina has no oak in it. So uh, they make one with a little bit of oak and one with a, uh, a year aging in oak and one year in the, barrique, uh, in the barrique and one year in the bottle. That would not be the wine for fish. But this one being completely on oak actually is a better pairing with fish than a white wine would be. It's nice and juicy and cherry and a lot of fruit and no interference from the oak. It's not very tannic. It's a perfect wine for oily fish. Uh, 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 you like eggplant if you're eggplant, eggplant parmesan egg, or, or or baked eggplant, or pumpkin squashes, acorn squashes, fall seasons right around the corner. This is the perfect wine for that. She, the, the, the lady brought up risotto. Imagine a mushroom, uh, a porcini mushroom using the broth from a rehydrated porcini mushroom, because we don't get the real thing here. Uh, at least it's hard to find in America. <clears throat> and I told her, rehydrate the broth, use that as your broth for the risotto, uh, you know, to make a creamy risotto, and then uh, mushrooms, earthiness, and then a wine like this, and the creamy with the cheese, the parmesan on cheese and you got a perfect wine for a vegetarian dish and uh, a rich hearty fall dish uh, like risotto uh, this would be great or a seafood risotto this would be terrific also only 12 bucks you know that wine too uh, wonderful stuff uh, <clears throat> from the south of France the Sud de France we've I've reviewed this wine many times from Bernard Magri it's called Blue de Mer the Blue Sea the Mediterranean and this is 100% Merlot but again zero oak and this wine has the beautiful juiciness of the flavor of the great merlot lots of black cherry lots of plum lots of black raspberries and it would be so good with a tuna steak it would be good i've had it with sushi i've had it with uh, just a pizza with no meats on it i've had it with seafood pasta <clears throat> it's a wonderful uh, any vegetables i've had it with grilled fennel portobello mushrooms excellent pairing south of france $12.99, 100% Merlot, no oak aging, from the Mediterranean in a hot, very sun-drenched area, 14% alcohol, you get good fruit, 
good bounce and lots of flavor without the oak or the tannin structure uh, interfering with the fish or the vegetable dishes. <clears throat> Oregon Pinot, made by a French family. Pinot Noir from Oregon goes better than with wild salmon and there's still some wild salmon now. I think they're on coho. We had this. We had the king salmon and the sockeye season in Florida. Anyway, I know uh, if you live out, fortunate enough to live in the Pacific Northwest or out there, you get a lot longer season than we do, a lot more availability. But here in Florida, for fresh, not previously frozen or not farm raised to get wild stuff, uh, this is the end of the the wild salmon season here. Uh, seeing that, but still, salmon is a fatty, oily fish like Chilean sea bass, like uh, black sea bass, or black cod rather, or Chilean, uh, uh, I mentioned that, swordfish steak, tuna steak, and they go much so, so much better with an Oregon Pinot Noir than they do with, I think, than the, the burgundies of white burgundy, of Chardonnays and, 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 or other white wines. So this is Domaine Druhan. This is their Rose Rock from Eola Amity Hills. It's $34.99, but made by Verney Druhan the granddaughter of the Druhan family and her brother Philippe that is the viticulturist here and uh, their slogan French soul Oregon soil Oregon has a lot of wild salmon and this goes so great with any fish dish or any veg vegetarian dish much more so than a white wine would this is one of my favorite $34.99 French soul Oregon soil from the Druhan family um, that is perfect for there down in the south of Italy, down in Manduria, home of Primitivo de Manduria and other grapes, but Primitivo, that Puglia region, and especially Primitivo de Manduria, which is Red Zinfandel. It's the same DNA as Red Zinfandel, and Red Zins go well with, uh, with, with seafood and vegetables, but down in that region in Italy, it's right on the Adriatic and Ionian Seas, they bring in seafood, and I've had this with a complete 100% vegetarian meal, and these Primitivos are so perfect, even though it's oak age and French and American, such big fruit and such flavors of rhubarb and strawberry, they cut through any kind of fatty fishes or go so well with vegetable as they do with red meat. With lamb, it's a, a universal wine. That's the one I recommended for her to try. This is from good old Gregory Perucci and Agricole, uh, Agriculture Feline Winery. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I have a hurricane stuck in my throat. <clears throat> Excuse me, we don't edit here. Um, this is still, uh, the 2016 really achieved what uh, I think he set out to do in, in 2015, which I don't think it did. It was more of an American style. These grapes were cuttings from Ridge Winery. They're Geyserville Vineyard, one of the most famous wineries for Red Zinfandel in California. And in 1987, they sent cuttings over to Gregory's uh, Winery down in Manduria on the hill of the boot of Italy. And they replanted them in this uh, black soil known as the Terra Nera, or the black earth from volcanic deposits. And they were gonna see, does after 20 years later you make a wine, does it taste more like an American? Zinfandel or an Italian Primitivo, or do you get the best of both worlds? I didn't think you got the best of both worlds in 2015, but this is the 2016. They even have like a little scratch and feel what that black earth says. Uh, they put uh, this brand new packaging shows the word Zinfandel and Primitivo to keep the connection, and the back of the label is all in Italian. You have to use your Google Translate, and it tells you the flavor notes. So Gregory was set out to keep the connection between the American cuttings from Ridge and to get the best of both American and Primitivo uh, de Manduria in one bottle. And this year, I believe the vintage achieved exactly that with 15% uh, alcohol, but it's not a jammy fruit California barm blended with Petite Syrah. This is 100% Primitivo, old vines uh, planted in this black soil material. You get notes of rhubarb, of strawberry, of, bl of blueberries and boysenberry. And then the fruit is also bounced by gorgeous black licorice. Just hint, don't get scared away. That guest almost got scared away when I mentioned black licorice. Not a licorice you're gonna notice, just in the background, a little bit of balsamic notes, but a sweet balsamic note. It is so perfect with a vegetarian meal, so perfect with fresh food right out of the Adriatic Sea. Maybe some dentice this would go well with, or maybe some even uh, some, uh, not maybe riche or uh, une, or maybe, I've, I, I would go with this with anything, but yeah, really great with meats as well, but perfect wine, the all-purpose wine, even good by itself. And pizza is great down in Manduria. 
What a wonderful pizza wine. And last but not least, don't forget Rosé. And you say, Rosé, I thought you were talking about red wines. Well, this is Chateau Triones from Cote de Provence, 100% organic. Remember that all these rosés are really red wine. They're really made with red grapes. They just use a shorter time on the skin contact of the grapes, so it's a pink color, but you're getting the flavors of a red wine. So technically, it's an all-purpose wine that your rosé is not a white wine that they put some red coloring in it. It's made with Grenache, Syrah, Mourvedre. All three are red grapes that could make a red wine. In fact, they do, Chateau Triands make a red wine but they leave it for longer skin contact and you have a full-blown red wine. So Merlot could be made rosé, Pinot Noir rosé, just less skin contact, uh, is, is less time with the skin and the juice, uh, and you have a rosé. So I count this as a red wine, but also for a white wine drinker, so you get the best of both worlds. $14.99, uh, 14 bucks. I think the price is, I think it's $14.99, but 100% organic from the Cote de Provence, uh, Grenache, Syrah, Mourvedre, and it's really a red wine for a white wine drinker, perfect with every type of food, including fish and vegetables. So for any further information on any of those wines, go to our website, abcfws.com, or hit me up on my blog, and there's many ways to contact me. People just, one lady just told me today, thank God for your pictures and your wine pick uh, notes, because I, it makes it so easy. I just go around the store and pick every wine with my, my my recommendation on it and that's great and that's what they're there for but you can always get me personally remember i'm you know i'm glad everybody's safe who was in the area of the the, uh, the the hurricane that's in my viewing area and remember that wine is not for snobs it's for everyday people like you and me and even red wine drinkers who want to drink it with fish or vegetables you can do it with wines like that see you soon